Hello everybody, <laughs> welcome back to Resident Evil Zero. In our last stream, we uh, explored quite a bit of the f training facility and I learned that this was finally actually, I finally came to the realization that this training facility isn't actually the Spencer Mansion. I always thought it was back when I originally played it, but I was wrong. Anyway, we now have a bunch of things open and uh Resident i do Evil know where to go Zero. now i kind of look ended off last stream not remembering exactly where to go but uh looking over the play through i kind of figured it out so that is awesome so just give me a few minutes about a minute or two and we will get going i'm just finishing setting up a few last things and of course as always for the youtube crowd as all of these get uploaded to youtube later on um thank you for joining and if you are watching this come follow me here on twitch where i stream all of these live and i'm going to be doing every resident evil except for survivor and dark side chronicles for obvious reasons but uh <laughs> And Outbreak, also for obvious reasons. And the shitty multiplayers, also for obvious reasons. But doing a bunch of the the majority of the Resident Evils here on Twitch um, in celebration of Village coming out. And uh, also, if you're on the YouTube channel, be sure to subscribe to that and uh, like the video and all that. Anyway. Give me one second here. Let's go. Continue, of course. I don't know why he wants us to restart. But anyway. Ah. Uh. Okay. So, first things first, we're going to drop the ink ribbon. And I think I'm going to need to take the hook shot with me. Excuse me. At least I think so. up to the third floor and then that little outcropping down there at the bottom of the map should get me exactly it meets up right there on the outside Still gotta say, for a game that at this point is nine, almost 19 years old, 19 years old this year, it still looks friggin' gorgeous. Really, actually, since they didn't do anything other than make it look smooth and not pixely in HD, it really kind of shows off just 
what the GameCube could do. Oh. This is... Okay, so maybe I don't need the hookshot at all. You do something about it, Billy. I'll check it out. Okay. Come on. Okay. Nope, we can't push it together. There's nothing. Okay. So, I oh, yeah, you can get up. And then that's about it. Okay. So, I was wrong. This is not the way to go. Aru! You reading your Kyosho, Kyoshi book, pup? Might be a waste of ammo, might not. Who cares? That's eh, good. You still owe me a chapter read to me when I see you next. Puppy is reading a book all about Avatar Kiyoshi. Ah! Thank you, Billy. Hey! Jerks. Okay. So now that they're done. Oh! Okay. Good. I'm glad we came here. <laughs> That's good. Speaking of reading out loud, it's a solidly built clock. The minute hand is missing from the dial. Well, coincidentally... Oh. Nope. I happen to have this thing here that looks suspiciously like a minute hand. It's a solidly built clock. Move the hands. Yes. 8.15 was what the... Uh, Is what the note said. I remember that. So 11, 10, 9, 8. Five, 10, 15. That should unlock those two doors. One. And two. <laughs> so I didn't need that hook shot at all. <laughs> Actually while we're put that back on for now Billy It's a good thing I bothered to, like, search that room again. Otherwise, I would have been wandering around damelessly for a little while until I found that clock. Because I thought it was a different clock that I was going to go and I was actually going to try an entirely different clock. Okay. Since we're here. Rebecca. You can drop that hookshot, dear. We do not need it. need is ammo. And if 
by virtue of it being in the main hallway, we are going to go for this door first, I think. Wait. Yes, this door just goes into a single room, and then the one downstairs also goes into a single room. A verse of poetry. The moon bows to the earth, the earth swears loyalty to the sun, and the great law of the sun governs all things. This itself is the keystone, the pointer to glory. All our hands cannot open the door to the heaven. Ooh, shotgun shells! Take those happily. Ooh. The microfilm. Yeah. The microfilm. Fire looks like it was only lit a short while ago. Books lie scattered on the floor. Okay, so nothing else major in this room. Alright. Alright, Bex. You got some Molotovs you can use. And that is always helpful. Especially if I run into that brrrr zombie. That's what I call the leechy, like, squiggly, Reed Richards like zombie motherfuckers. Because they go brrrr at you. Good. I hear no one. He is still in the bathroom. He can stay in the bathroom. Oh, there you are. Good job, Billy. Oh, I need the microfilm. The other microfilm. I'll take those. Damn it, Billy. All right, we'll be right back with this place. Because I have two microfilms. I should go pick up the other one. Actually, wait a minute. Oh god! One of those fuckers. No. 
behave, game. You know what? Had enough of your shit. He survived a fucking grenade? Totally not worth it. Totally not worth fighting. Well, now I know what to do, at least. <laughs> Resident Evil Zero. <laughs> okay. I should have used one of those ink ribbons before going in that hallway. Oh well. Yay! A whole new chapter. I'll be getting to that soon too. This time I'm just gonna remember to grab both microfilms so I can use that projector. And then when that guy breaks through the door and goes, bleh, bleh, I'm just going to run past him and through the door and be like, fuck you, buddy. Because he survived, like, how many shotgun shots? Being set on fire. And grenades. Like, that... Those guys take too much ammo to bother dealing with. By far. Oh, right. goes down to eight. And we're good. Film B. <laughs> Go 
because I keep accidentally going into the menu instead of switching characters, but I can switch characters in the menu anyway, so it's just a convoluted way of switching characters. <laughs> Yes, the fire looks nice, but the microfilm looks nicer. Cause we must know where the microfilm is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the microfilm. Those, do you not have the microfilm? Is it not up your butt? Cause if you do not have the microfilm, das ist nicht so gut. Now we have the microfilm. Actually. Don't need to waste the shotgun shells. Damn it, Rebecca! Just that's a delayed reaction. Health would be really nice. Projector isn't displaying anything at the moment. It's a microfilm projector. If you had some microfilm, you could view its contents on screen. Well, funny enough, I have the microfilm A. Picture of a room somewhere. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, A, B, C, D, E, F. There's something written on top of the picture of the seats. Ah. An image resulting from the overlaying microfilm of microfilms A and B. 
Numbers on the seats appear. Numbers appear on the seats of the conference room. Okay. Well, time to not deal with the zombie that we know is going to be coming in here. System. Access complete. Release system activated. Please enter the passcode 0A. There is no input device nearby. But there are these. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. A. <laughs> Technically, I pressed A zero, but that works too. Well, that's three doors open. So there's a whole little side area right there. There's the front yard, the front vestibule area. And there's that. I think this is a good time to use one of those many increments. Even though Rebecca is hurting something fierce. Oh. Come on. Roger. Up the thing, Billy. Oh, he's maxed out. You know what? Actually, I'll check it out. Okay. Bex, I'm temporarily giving you the grenade. There. 
gonna leave her here and see if I can find some uh, healing items on the outside. Billy. And I have five ink ribbons left, so I'm doing good there. Probably going to be dogs or something out here. response looks like it's not getting any power so we need a battery for that it's solidly built wire mesh despite its age it shows no signs of decay Anything out here? The bridge has collapsed in the middle. Beyond the precipice, you need to see nothing but pitch darkness. There is nothing out here? Oh, wait. No, there is. There totally is. There's something there. Oh. Uh, but you can't see it well from here. Alright, so I'm going to have to find the battery to... Okay. Come on. Okay. Bex, you're gonna have to come with. Let's split up. Roger. Wrong button. Let's regroup. Okay. Right button. Okay, that's the water door. So in the next area to explore. It's like, I don't think there's anything up there on the third floor yet. Well, there might be. Pretty sure the third floor is the way to the next area. Oh, uh, we don't need to deal with fucking bugs up there right now. Especially since I'm damn sure it's going to dead end anyway. We can get there later. For now, we actually have quite a bit to explore on this side. He's only got the one shot left. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, I gave her the grenade launcher. You stay here. Yeah. No. That button. Hmm. 
What is he doing for ammo? Six shots. And he's got the shotgun. Giant chess pieces on the floor here. Oh! Palm grenades, that's nice. Ink ribbon there. And she's actually full. Billy's got let's regroup. Roger. Two slots, so he can take that ink ribbon. Chessboard. The game appears to have ended in a checkmate. Let's split up. Roger. Ah, I see. Okay, so yeah, those are all in the right place. Oh, no, they're not. Oh shit. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, well. Resident Evil. At least I know I don't need to go up front this time. She needs that. I'm just gonna leave that there for now. Let's go. Okay. I'm gonna try and keep him in front of her. She is still like right next, right up next to dead.
those. And those. I'll go check over there. Yeah. Move the king, Billy. There we go. This time, no poison gas. Ah, the Book of Evil. Y'all know what that's going to get me. Ah, and thank you again for uh, everyone who's tuned in. Wait, there's something more. Marcus's Diary 1. December 4th. We finally did it. The new virus. We have called it the Progenitor. I wanted to carry it back and start detailed investigations immediately. March 23rd. Spencer says he's going to start a company. Well, I don't care as long as I can continue my research into Progenitor. He can do what he likes. August 19th. Spencer keeps asking me to be the director of his new training facility. Maybe it's because of the business, but he's become intolerably pushy. But maybe I can turn this to my advantage. I need a special facility to proper explore all of this virus's secrets. A place where no one will get in the way. November 30th. Damn that Spencer! He came to complain to me again today. He thinks a progenitor is nothing more than a money-spinning tool. Fool! But if his influence continues to grow, it can only be bad for my research. If I'm going to properly develop progenitor, I must strengthen my own position too. September 19th. At last! I've discovered a way to build a new virus type with progenitor as a base. Mixing it with leech DNA was the breakthrough I needed. I call this new virus T for Tyrant. October 23rd. It's no good. Can't hope for real progress experimenting on mere rodents. Only human can be a proper mammalian subject for these experiments. Otherwise, I'll never make any real progress. November 15th. Someone seems to suspect something about my experiments but perhaps it's just my imagination. Well, if anyone gets too close, they may find themselves unexpectedly assisting in my research. January 13th. At last, they are ready. My wonderful leeches. Those of low intelligence, they will never have the privilege of tasting this sense of joy and satisfaction. Now I can finally move against Spencer. Soon I will control everything. January 31st. The device I set to protect my work has been disturbed. It, is, it appears someone came looking for tea and the leeches. Fool. No doubt the work of Spencer's group. February 11th. Today I have again found evidence of tampering around the entrance to the labs. If that is what they're after, I must find a suitable way to deal with them. Perhaps I should have William and Albert smoke out the pests. Those two are the only ones I trust, apart from my beloved leeches, of course. Leeches, they can never steer you wrong, but they may suck you dry. But Spencer wouldn't end there, would it? I will announce tea at the next director's meeting and collect my just rewards. Got Marcus's diary number one, so there'll probably be more.
Mm. All right. Now, where were we? Right. The Book of Evil. Must be examined. An elegantly bound book entitled Evil. It seems unusually heavy for a book of this thickness. There's my missing wing. Let's regroup. Roger. I still have no fucking herbs, and she is on death's door. Bathroom. It's an old dusty suit of armor. You can't even see your own face reflected. What? It's not a suit of armor, that's a mirror. <laughs> oh, there is something in here. All the random headshots happen off screen. Oh, fuck. Oh, there's blue herbs for poison. Oh, thank God. Okay. Shelf contains an assortment of medicine. They're too old to be of any use. Actually, I can just use it right away. They're giving me poison herbs. I'm going to need them soon. shelf contains various me medical tools and drugs. They're all manufactured by Umbrella. <sighs> First investigation unit notes. We are searching the facilities, and it looks a lot like the chemicals survived. Unfortunately, the storage tanks are still full, all full. We've just started, and there's still a lot we don't know, but it appears that the chemicals can be mixed to produce new substances. The chemicals are scattered all about, not because of the accident, more a result of plain mismanagement. When we reopen the facilities, we will have to develop a system for dealing with these chemicals. Something is scrawled on the back of the note. Red plus blue equals sulfuric acid, Green plus red equals stripping agent. Looks like some kind of chemical. Put it in the mixing set? Sure. Put green chemical in the mixing set. And that looks like it's it for here. It's doctor's examination bed. The sheets are stained with blood. Right. There's a whole bunch of things I'm missing. Fuck. 
Actually, you know what? There. <coughs> Excuse me. Secret tunnel through the painting. Secret, 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 secret tunnel behind the face of the asshole. Or maybe the asshole's a tunnel. Now this is getting a little too gay. Okay. Feel better leaving that there. Yes, I will definitely save that. there with a box on it but I don't have the battery to call it down there's a way down back there that I still can't access because I can't turn off the steam there's the night door up there that I could always just run into and run around see if there are any items I might need from there that I could just grab from there or I could just hold off because I'm going to be going that way way later anyway can't, don't have the water key, so I can't get into those four rooms and two hallways over there. And I just opened that up. Well, you know what? Sure, let's go on a quick item hunt. I don't have to shoot those bug guys. And uh, maybe I'll find some items in the big circular room on the third floor. And then, the only real place to go is through the painting tunnel. Secret tunnel painting. Yeah, we, we don't need your shit, guys. Ooh, it's a good thing I came this way. is locked, but there doesn't seem to be a keyhole anywhere. Uh-huh. There's a message carved into the control panel. The three fundamental principles of the Umbrella Corporation. Discipline, unity, and something or other. trainees. There it is. Yeah. Discipline, discipline, obedience, unity. Is 
So I know what I'm gonna have to find. But at least we got some ammo. No health, but ammo. It's always a good thing. Billy, come on. We don't need to fuck with these guys. Of all that's up there is one thing of ammo. I know exactly how to deal with that. Resident Evil Zero. I'll need to bring both of them for that. I'll go check over there. Yeah. Just go alone. I can run around them easily with her. Get that ammo and just keep moving. Y'all can fuck the fuck off. Do not need your bullshit. I do not need your bullshit. I'm just gonna run this way because I do not need your bullshit. Is bullshit. Okay. one of those behind. Come on. Roger. I'll take the blue herb from him, so that way we at least both have some stuff. And now let's go see what's down here. Oh god! That would explain the friggin' blue herb needing. You can have the shotgun on for this, Billy. Fucking spiders.
got here? Correctional Institute inmates list. Matthews, K. Deceased. Disposal complete. Midge, D. Deceased. Disposal complete. Keith, W. Preserved as specimen. Savage, C. Transported to research facilities. Royce, M. Transported to research facilities. Davids, A. Preserved as specimen. Clark, A. Transported to research facilities. Ellens, J. Transported to research facilities. Terence O. Deceased. Disposal complete. Kate A. Transported to Arkley Laboratory. Jerry O. Deceased. Disposal complete. Scott S. Transported to research facilities. Mitchell F. Transported to research facilities. Carrie T. Transported to Arkley Laboratory. Roberts A. Transported to research facilities. Transported individuals to be deleted from the records. Why is there a chain on the side of that? Ah. Well, we'll make a, uh, Poultice here. And I think this actually is a good place to take a break because we're in a new area. Just got ourselves an ink ribbon. And we're in this little save spot here. But yeah, this was a fun stream. Thank you for everyone who tuned in. Shout outs to uh, Clyde Pup for uh speaking up and barking out in chat. I'm going to save this up, take a little break, and uh, in the next stream, we will be searching out this basement facility and continuing our Resident Evil Marathon, which has now expanded. I'm actually quite excited about the way that uh, this marathon has expanded because I finally found and dug up my copies of Resident Evil 1 and 2, the PlayStation 1 versions, actual hard copies. I still can't find my copy of Resident Evil 2. It must be in a box uh, somewhere. But a good friend of mine, um, Hap, was very kind and donated me his PS1 copy of Resident Evil 2. So after Resident Evil 0, I'm going to do the original PS1 version of Resident Evil, the director's cut, uh, live playthrough on Twitch, followed immediately by the uh, 2002 GameCube remake that has been ported to the PS4. Now, I already did a Jill playthrough of that uh, back in October. I'm going to do Chris this time, and then we're going to do the same thing with Resident Evil 2. Play the original first, see what, uh, how, and then play the remake right after so we can see how awesome it was done and then do the same thing with 3 so we can see that while the remake of Resident Evil 3 still had some cool ideas they cut a lot out that made Resident Evil 3 particularly special and then we will go Code Veronica 4, 5, 6 Revelations 1, Revelations 2 and Resident Evil 7 Biohazard with all the DLC. I know there's DLC for 6. I don't think I'm going to bother with it though. Because I don't care to download it. And uh, 6 is kind of a shit game anyway. But I'm playing them all through for all y'all. And uh, again, thank you everyone for checking this out. And I'll see you in the next stream.